Hey guys, the purpose of this video is to showcase my war attacks from the last war, specifically hog attacks. Anyway, the majority of us are Town Hall 8s, and that means that we have three primary attacks. Dragons, Hogs, and Golight. For Dragons, we pretty much learn the fundamental skill of funneling from Town Hall 7. You know, make sure that your dragons go into the center take out the air defenses, and then clean up the rest of the base. Then, on the Town Hall 8, you have to worry about another air defense. This made it a little harder because now you have to choose between either zapping one air defense with three lightning, or bringing two rage and one heal, so you could just destroy a cluster of air defenses and hope that your dragons survive long enough to clean up the rest of the base. In any case, it was kind of a hit or miss strategy sometimes, but then hogs came along, and this is definitely my preferred method of attack now. Hogs a lot, well, first of all, hogs give the player so much control over the outcome of the battle. If you had a strategy and you executed perfectly, hogs will win no matter what. You can always dictate where your hogs go because they target defenses, so they're not going to go mindlessly into some other random building that you don't care about. Anyway, this video will go into more of the intricacies of hogs and how I plan my attacks in war. Oh yeah, by the way, go wipe. <laughs> I guess go wipe is an okay attack. I'm personally not a fan just because it's a two-star attack. It is, it's designed to go into the core. I mean, it's a core diving attack after all. But after two stars, it kind of peters out and it's just so hard to get that last star. So. It's just not recommended, unless we just need two stars, which is that sometimes the case when we're outmatched in war and we have to attack a Town Hall 9 or even a rush Town Hall 10. Anyway, just remember, two star attacks do not win wars. Go dragons or hogs. Alright, let's go to the war screen. War has ended. Victory! Congratulations guys! You guys made fantastic attacks during this war, and it seems like everyone's been improving. Just pat yourselves on the back, because you guys earned it. Alright, look at that. All top 5 3 starred. Aw oh, yeah. All top 4 3 starred. Aw oh, yeah. Well, we were just one star shy of a perfect war, but. It's a lesson to be learned. Anyway, time for my attacks. Let's go and scout number three, the first person I attacked. All right, this is gonna be the typical opponent that we face. A uh, maxed out town hall eight. Well, maxed out in defenses at least. Walls are getting there, but this is gonna be pretty typical. Now, the first thing I look for are gaps. There are two gaps next to this town hall. That means that it can be a giant bomb or a Tesla. Now the gaps show what kind of traps the opponent is hiding. Usually you want to look for two by two spaces for giant bombs and Teslas, and there are a total of six of them. So three giant bombs and three Teslas are what you're accounting for. Now these are two spaces next to the town hall. One space between the clan castle and the storage and one between next to the air sweeper and two more gaps between these wizard towers and this archer tower now this layout is flawed just because of this one gap that you see this gap you should exploit it take advantage of it by putting one barb in there to get free scouting information if it's a giant bomb awesome one less giant bomb to worry about if it's a tesla okay now i know that Teslas are here, and the giant bombs must be elsewhere, which means they can be within these remaining four uh, gaps. So look for gaps in the enemy space and predict where the giant bombs and Teslas might be, so that way you know where to put your heels. For example, if this is a giant bomb, then and this might be a giant bomb, if no Tesla pops out, I'll probably place a heel right here 
so that way it covers the wizard towers as well as the giant bomb. That's just an example. In any case, people, most people know how to heal. They know how to heal forward and ahead of their targets so that way the hogs are always in, within the radius of the heals at all times. Second, the second thing that people should worry about after those traps are wizard towers. These guys. They cause massive damage to your hogs. It may not look like it, but they can really ruin hog attacks. If a hog is anywhere less than full HP and it triggers a giant bomb, they're going to be wiped out. Wizard towers do that extra damage necessary to wipe out hogs. And since your hogs tend to be clustered during the attack, there's just no chance for them unless they heal and destroy the wizard towers before they trigger giant bombs. Wizard towers should go down quickly. Make sure that your hogs aren't too clustered and at least swarming around them. It may be a little hard, but at least you have your heals to help. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is this guy. This guy right here. Barb King. He's a showstopper for hogs. He can destroy your hogs as they're passing by. In most cases, you can actually lure them out. And some people try to, or tend to, trade their Barb King for the enemy's Barb King. I find that to be a pretty mad trade, honestly. I'd rather hold on to my Barb King for a while for tanking purposes. And DPS, of course. Barb Kings can actually be completely avoided. That's a tactic that I use. I want to just circumvent them. I want to make sure I destroy all the defenses around him and then end the attack on him. What that means is you want to destroy all the defenses on the northwest, then you want to destroy the defenses on the northeast, then you want to destroy the defenses on the southeast, and finally come down to the southwest and destroy these defenses so that way there are no more defenses left for the hogs to target. And instead, they'll go in free attack mode and attack the nearest buildings or the Barb King. There we go. If a hog ends at the Barb King, then that's fantastic. The attack will probably succeed because they haven't been uh, whittled down by the Barb King throughout the attack. So this will di dictate the direction I attack from, which is north. Now, we need to always lure the CC Take into account the housing space of the CC, which in right here is 25. It's probably not going to be lured by that gap. Mm, nah, not really. So I'll just place the, a Barbarian on the Dark Barracks. Bring them all the way north onto this army camp. And then send my Wizards and Barbarians to just wipe them out. Essentially a kill squad. Now, the reason I want to uh, lure them up north instead of just taking them out south is because I want my wizards to survive the attack. I want them to clean up behind the hogs that I'm sending from the north. This way I don't have to waste my wizards. I mean sure they'll take out the CC but I want them to continue on throughout the battle cleaning up behind them. Behind all the hogs that is. Um, now how do we attack? Well we could just mindlessly drop all the hogs onto these defenses. Yeah, that'll probably work. But at the same time, what if there's a better strategy, which is tanking for the hogs before they reach the enemy point defenses. Look at the range of these cannons. All right, if I place a unit on this gold mine, it'll tank those two point defenses and the hogs are free to go in from the sides. Then they'll take care of the cannons and go to the second layer with the wizard tower and the archer towers. Great. Now which unit will I use to tank? My king. <laughs> the king is fantastic. You should use him to his fullest. He can tank the cannons and add DPS for the cleanup. So having him alive is pretty beneficial. Same for the right side or the northeast side. I'm going to place a giant on this next to this elixir collector and tank these two point defenses while my hogs go in and destroy them. Giants have 
relatively about 50% or more health than hogs. I mean, level 5 giants, that is. So they'll last longer, and that means you have extra hogs for DPS, because they'll survive longer. After I take care of both the northwest and the northeast, I want to take care of the east and southeast. So hogs will go on, converge on his mortar, as well as the wizard tower and archer tower, and probably CC hogs on the cannon. This mortar will probably be taken care of by other hogs on the west, and maybe a couple hogs will be sent in from the gap to take care of the wizard tower. This will all happen during the attack because, well, it's a replay. <laughs> Alright, let's go see it in action. Barbarian. Alright, Teslas. Now for the dark barracks. Alright, 25 housing space. Now we'll work to the top. Just be patient. It takes them a little while to get up. You could save the poison for skellies, but in this case, I just use the poison for the archers. Wait for it, and then barbarian distraction. Then wizards. Then more barbarians as distra distractions, but unfortunately, I lose a couple of wizards. Sad, but two losses. Not too bad. Time for the tanking. And then hogs, five hogs each side. Giant, three hogs, and I think five hogs, yeah. Then from the side and in the gap, hogs, heal, giant bomb next to the air sweeper. I'm gonna wait until it gets to the air defense, then heal because of the wizard. Then CC hogs, take care of the archer and the cannon. Those were two heals, and the final heal will be at the Barb King. The Barb King cannot kill your hogs if they're being constantly healed. And since they're ending at the Barb King, the Barb King will be the next target. All during this attack, I sent out my wizards on the south, as well as Rage My King, to get all the extra DPS for cleanup. This was a pretty fast attack. It was a blitz. Yeah. Now what's left are storages and the town hall. And you just have to wait patiently. Hogs get to it quite fast. Anyway, that was a successful attack. Alright, let's go look at one more base. Number one, let's do this one quickly. This was their number one for some reason. And it's funny because this is a pretty bad layout. I mean, look at that, it's an anti-dragon base, right? But for hogs, this is this is an incredibly easy base to do. Just because everything is so tightly clumped together that there are no gaps for traps. So you don't have to, I mean, except for the middle, but then you already know, all right, the middle is probably gonna be Teslas and giant bombs. So that's where you'll probably heal. While everything on the outskirts, the outer edges, will just be destroyed without impunity. Now, taking a look at this, look at this uh, the Barb King is in the northeast. Hey, Barb King. That means I want to end my attack on the northeast. The CC range uh, looks like I could get it from this gold mine. And let's see. Oh, look. If you look at the, the deployment edges, limits, you can actually put a unit right here between the collector and the dark barracks it's probably going to trigger something a bomb or a tesla so take advantage of it i'm going to send one barbarian to just trigger it and one more or actually a giant because a barbarian will not go in between these this dark barracks and this gold mine in the meantime if i send a giant it'll tank these three point defenses that's incredible if it's tanking three defenses a giant is warranted because those Defenses will kill a hog outright while it's approaching. So might as well just lose a giant and get a little bit of extra time while your hogs approach them. Here, I'm going to use my Barb King to tank the Wizard Tower, the Cannon, and Archer. So the, that way my hogs are safely coming up from behind. As for a CC kill squad, it'll be from the south. Since I'm doing my attack from the south, I want my CC, my kill squad from the south as well. 
afterwards, I'll probably send hogs to the west. So that way they can all converge into the middle and eventually onto the Barb King. Let's see all of this in action. Ur. Oh, it's a giant bomb. And now let's bring the enemy CC down. Notice that it's only five. Apparently the enemy didn't fill it to capacity, which is sad. So it only had five units. Wizard to take out the archer and to take out the other wizard. Then a giant. Oh look, a giant bomb. Tank that giant bomb so that way our hogs don't have to. Then the Barb King. Tank everything so the hogs can just go freely. Then from the northwest. Oh, the hog didn't go into that area. Oh well, it's fine. Alright, now th these are Teslas, which means this must be a giant bomb. Let's free heal. Make sure that we don't get destroyed. Oh man, it's coming up. It's not triggered. Okay. Well, it's going to the north, so might as well put a heal here. It's fine. In between all the defenses, so that way all the hogs are always constantly healing while moving from defense to defense. And in the meantime, I place my uh, wizards around, so that way they've been cleaning up. Final defense down. Hogs will go after the Barb King. Oh, goodbye, Barb King. And look at that. Everyone's been cleaning up pretty well. With the Barb King alive and the Kill Squad alive, the cleanup has never been easier. The last things left are the storage and the Clan Castle. Now the Clan Castle. And now, oh wait, the giant bomb. No! But it's okay. That happens. Well, I hope the tips I've shown really help everyone out. Because everyone knows how to heal. Everyone knows how to use hogs. But there are just some things that people overlook. And these little intricacies can really help in a war attack, especially during planning phases. Anyway. I'll probably post some highlights again in the future, especially if people make some incredible attacks or some excellent defenses. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So until next time.